doing another test. This test, again, is uh, a streaming broadcast from my Logitech C920, and this is to test how the bandwidth is, and uh, I've got a pretty decent connection here as well, and I just wanted to check the difference between running a 1080p stream and a 720p stream from my camera settings on my local machine streaming up to YouTube and Google Hangouts. And I'm going to cover a lot of different things. Uh, go ahead and connect up with me because very shortly I'm going to be releasing a very free uh, webinar series that's going to cover multiple modules about streaming and how to get a good professional setup because if you're going to be presenting online you definitely want to come across you know the days of uh, good enough is not just good enough. You want to definitely have some professionalism behind what you do. Uh, what creates good professionalism? It could be good lighting, good camera, good stream, your settings. And what I've noticed is that with the Logitech and many of the other different cameras, and Logitech seems to be the best webcam than C920 at the moment. I think they just came out with the 930E uh, from Logitech. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of difference between the two but basically these are the best streaming cameras at the moment and this industry and this technology seems to be moving ahead pretty fast. Of course you can go with DSLR and spend a lot of money in having some integration there and video capture and that type of thing and I'll cover some of that in the modules I'm going to cover but really this is going to be a training and educational process for anyone that wants to just get started. How do you do streaming from a small budget all the way up to a larger budget? Uh, how do you scale this up? How do you do this in a small space? Because a lot of people just don't have a dedicated space. Maybe you want to do it in a tight space. How do you do it? If you look at some of my other videos, you'll see I have an infinite white background. Right now I have an infinite black background. Pretty easy to set up with the right type of lighting. Of course, you can do you know high-end soft boxes and lighting and that type of thing, or you can do some things straight from your hardware store as well. It's pretty amazing what you can do. And I've spent a lot of money and time and effort to test a lot of these different things. And also here with the webcam, you know, just the settings, how do you set it up with your white balance and your exposure and these type of things in each different scenario in each setting. Uh, on top of this, you know, there's there's many things that go into good broadcasts. The first thing, of course, is your video camera uh, and then lighting. Lighting is critical. You've got to get your lighting right. With the wrong type of lighting, uh, you can have the best looking camera or best, best performing camera, but if your lighting's bad, it just looks terrible. You can have a low-end camera and great lighting and it will come across great as well. And of course, you've got to dial this into your bandwidth and what your upload speed is, that type of thing. So there's a lot of things you can play with. and. Uh, if you want to cut some corners and learn some tricks and of the trade, then go ahead and plug in. And as soon as this webinar series is available, I'll, I'll be releasing that to you. And it's just basically my gift back to a lot of people that participate with me on business and so on. And I think today video is critical because, face it, I mean, YouTube already announced uh, not very long ago, within the last couple of weeks, and if you look at the date of this broadcast, you know, this is uh, August already, and they're saying that they've had as much as 100 videos uploaded per minute on the YouTube and I think it might even be more than that by now. So video is the way. Uh, people today tend to go towards video versus reading. It's just an easier process. It's a better way for you to connect because people get to see your face, your genuine uh, response and, and interaction. And also I'll show you some of the things I use from a technical standpoint. Some things you can do to create your own broadcast and webinars. Do uh, lead capture and registration pages very simply. All automated so that you can build an audience and be able to communicate with those people that are interested in what you have to share and so on. But anyways, go ahead and click the uh, like button and subscribe to my channel here. And as soon as those uh, webinars and modules are available, I'll let you, let you know. Now the modules are going to cover like this. We're going to first go into lighting, our, our cameras. I'll cover different types of cameras, what you can do there. And then the next step will be lighting. What types of lighting, how to set up your lighting, how do you do this on a low budget, how to do this if you've got a medium budget and then also a broader budget, how do you do it in it for a tight space, because, you know, if, depending on your lighting is, you get shadows and reflections and that type of thing. You know, do you have windows in your place or are you in a dark space? These are all things to think about when you're setting this up. And you want to do it properly so you get the right appeal and look for your audience. And also, you want to come across as professional as you can. You might as well. If you're going to do it, do it right, right? Uh, the next module after lighting will be audio. And audio is critical because, you know, if, if you can have kind of poor audio or, or video, but if you have great audio, it makes a huge difference. I mean, audio has such an impact in your presentations as well. You know, we've all seen those presentations where somebody sounds like they're really distant or there's a big echo in the room or that type of thing. You want a nice, robust, solid sound that's consistent and uh, equal across the board for your whole audience to hear 
and just pleasant so that they enjoy the experience as well. And there's a lot of ways to do this. You can do this with lavalier mics and I'll cover many different types of ways to interface, uh, whether it's from USB to XLR, you know, there's all different types of things. Also, you know, just for an example right now, I'm speaking to you through a... Um, a uh, studio mic. This is a road uh, broadcaster. I've actually had this for years in my studio, but uh, this is XLR, and I can show you how I get that into the machine, and we use that here for this broadcast here. It gives a nice quality sound, and if you knew where I was standing right now, and when I'll show you this in these modules, you'd, you'd probably laugh, and it's exciting because it shows you what you can do right from your own home or wherever you want on the fly. And uh, the key is to get it set up where you can set these things up quickly when you're inspired or when you've got an event scheduled and you can broadcast. And then the third thing that we'll go into is, um, um, so we go lighting, audio, and then we're going to cover different types of presentation mechanisms like how do you create webinars and landing pages and embed that into there. We're also going to cover how to create uh, pre-recorded uh, presentations because sometimes it's it's just better to do pre-recorded in some instances because you know how it is sometimes you are ready to go live and technology just doesn't cooperate we've all had times when our PC doesn't boot or maybe our bandwidth is down or not or we're having issues there or you might be late you know running behind schedule you're in transition from one place to another whatever the reason or maybe your guest speaker or something like that is not there it's just nice to be able to pre-record these things and and the good thing about that is you can also have perfect audio and check it if there's any issues with your audio you can fix that you can also cut out any edits that you need to do as well um, so that's it you know we're gonna cover quite a few different things and and there will be more and more to add to this as we go forward and I'll show you some of the platforms we use as well here and we'll give you some bonuses with that as well, some some great offers for you. So go ahead and plug in and connect up with me, and thanks for this. And uh, just rambling on here, I want to see how this stream comes across at 720p on YouTube, streaming from my Logitech C920 right now. And I've tested a lot of different webcams, and I'll share some of that information with you as well and what my experiences have been. One of the things I've noticed with the C920, and I'm running with a, a darker background, it has a real tough time getting color balance proper. Uh, especially when it's a darker type room. You've got to do your exposure and your color balance, and I notice it leans a lot towards the gray when it's really dark, and it just has a little challenge there. And I think it may also be dependent on different operating systems as well, but I'll be testing some of that out as well. So thanks for connecting up, and hey, make it a great day.